Hey guys, how are you today? Today I am literally sitting on the floor of my bedroom because I want to do a massive makeup declutter with you guys. So as I've moved into my new house, I've kind of realized that I'm a minimalist in every other area of my life, except for this one, except for makeup. I have so much makeup that I never use that I figured, you know what, let's get rid of it, it's time. The goal is to go from a makeup hoarder to a makeup minimalist and hopefully this inspires you guys to declutter some in your life as well. Now, if it's not inspiring you to declutter and you want more makeup after you see this video, then I've got great news because I'm doing a giveaway in this video too. I have some unopened PR makeup that I know I'm never gonna use and I figured, you know what, it's the holidays, let's give it away and maybe it'll be like a little Christmas present from me. You can either give it away to someone as a Christmas present or keep it for yourself as a gift from me. So I'll show what I'm giving away at the end of the video because I have to kind of put it all together. But all you have to do if you want to be entered is leave me a comment in the comments down below. It can say anything you want it to say. That'll enter you to win and in two weeks I will announce the winner. So I'll go ahead and in the description box and list the date that the winner will be chosen and all of that. So all of the details will be down there and I'll be showing at the very end of the video what I'm giving away. Now one more thing before we get into our declutter, I do have a sponsor for today's video and it's a sponsor that I love and adore and I've worked with them many times over the last few years and their names are Ana Luisa Jewelry. Now you guys have probably heard of them if you've seen my videos in the past. Also if you've watched any of my other videos and you've noticed me wearing gold jewelry, it's always theirs. 100% of the time, any gold jewelry I'm wearing is from Ana Luisa Jewelry. So they have some really amazing pieces on their website that are the perfect, like seriously, if you love like pretty layering type jewelry, that's exactly what I'm wearing today, as you can see, but also what I do every single time I wear a piece of Ana Luisa Jewelry. I'm always layering, mixing and matching the pieces together because they're just perfect for that. I've mentioned before, my favorite thing about Ana Luisa Jewelry is that their jewelry is very dainty, but still sturdy and long lasting. I've had pieces for years that still look brand new. I just love their jewelry. They currently have an awesome sale where you can get buy one, get one for 60% off. That is an amazing deal. So I'll have all of the information for that in the description box below. I highly, highly recommend them. I'm currently wearing a Malachite ring, which I'm obsessed with. I love crystals and rocks and gemstones and all of that. So this ring was super, super exciting for me, but they have such an amazing variety of pieces on their website. So I feel like anybody could find something that they really do love on Ana Luisa. So definitely check out their sale. It's an awesome deal right now to get either a gift for you or somebody that you love. All right, now let's go ahead and get into this declutter. I'm gonna just go ahead and start pulling drawers out. You can see, I just kind of threw everything in here. Um, so that it would be easy for me to like grab and show you guys what we're dealing with. But here's the before, right? There's the drawer full. We're going to empty this drawer. I'm going to be left with like literally hardly nothing you guys are going to see. We're going to start with powders first, okay? I have quite a few powders here. I've done videos where I talk about a lot of these products that I love, but I'm still just ready to get rid of these items. So the first two that I know, or I guess three that I know for sure I'm going to get rid of, I have the RCMA Original Powder, I have my number seven powder, my Hourglass Powder, these are all getting decluttered, AOA Powder, going to declutter that, and NYX, um, they're like banana powder, getting rid of it. Um, my CoverGirl Vitalist Powder, I'm getting rid of this one, but you guys can see like I have loved this item to death, I adore this one. But I'm going to get rid of it because lately what I have been using and what I'm going to keep is the CoverGirl True Blend, True Blend Minerals um, Translucent Powder. So it just looks like this and I like it because it's a little bit brightening and like mattifying under the eyes. So I'm going to keep that one. And then I'm also going to keep my Glossier Powder. It looks like this. This one is like a barely there kind of powder. So I like it in the winter time when my skin is really dry because I can set everything without it adding any kind of like cakiness to my face. Um, so gonna keep that one. Next up I have my Wet n Wild little compact powder. It's completely shattered. Let's see if you guys can see that. Completely shattered. Let's get rid of it. Ah! And now it just, I dropped it, it opened, it spilled all over my floor, but we're getting rid of it. I also have this Milani Prep Set and Glow powder. Getting rid of that. Um, and then I have two more powders here. I have my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder um, in Glow. We're going to put that one in the maybe pile. And my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Um, I'm also putting that in the maybe pile. <laughs> so I've got two that for sure we're keeping, two that are in a maybe pile. Now let's move on to concealers. I have a ton of concealers and I'm going to show you guys. And just so you guys know, I am moving kind of quickly so that I can get through everything because 
there's a lot to get through. This many concealers today. I have my e.l.f. concealer, my Wet n Wild concealer, I have my Juvia's Place concealer, um, I have, whoops, Milani concealer, my Fenty Beauty concealer, um, NYX concealer, the only concealer that I'm keeping out of every single one of these, even though, again, I have loved many of these before, like my Wet n Wild, my Juvia's Place, love those two, but the only one I'm keeping, because it's the only one I've been using for a couple months now, is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. You can see it's like almost gone. I will be buying a new one as soon as that one is out. And that's kind of like been my go-to. So let's go ahead and get rid of all the other ones. Oh, you know what else I do have though is my Glossier Concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and keep one of these. I have two of them. I'll keep the one that's newer and get rid of the one that's a little bit older. Okay, let's talk face products. I got rid of almost all, or I mean foundations. I got rid of almost all of my foundations when I did my last declutter where I got rid of like everything. I didn't film that one and I wish I had. But let's go ahead and talk about this. I have my Wet n Wild Photo Focus, the dewy kind. I have my Fenty Beauty. And I have my Glossier Skin Tint. I'm going to actually get rid of Fenty and Glossier. And I'm only going to keep Wet n Wild because, again, this is the only one I've been using. So why am I keeping all these other ones? I don't know. Now let's talk about sprays. So I have my e.l.f. Soothing Spray, my Pixi Glow Mist and my Urban Decay All Nighter. These I feel like it's okay to keep. Now you know what, let's get rid of all of them. I haven't been using any of them. Bye. <laughs> I'm trying to be brutal in this one, okay? We're getting rid of a ton. But now I have this um, Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I again have loved this for many, many years, but I haven't used it in a long time, so why am I holding on to it? I don't know. I have quite a few brow products here too. I'll be honest, I mostly use brow pencils, but I do like the Benefit Cabral, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, and then I have some other uh, brow products here. I have the Glossier Brow Flick, this CoverGirl um, Brow Gel. I love that, I'm keeping that. Um, but then I have like the Gimme Brow from Benefit and the Boy Brow from Glossier, and this little Glossier Brow Flick. I don't like those, I'm gonna get rid of them. I mean, they're like, okay. Um, 24 Hour Brow Setter from Benefit, definitely keeping that. And then I have three brow powders. I have the Foolproof Brow Powder from Benefit, the Brow Zings from Benefit, and this little Brow Gal powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these too. Let's take a look at what I'm keeping from this drawer. You guys are gonna see, I am being brutal. I'm not keeping a lot of stuff. This drawer was completely full. You guys saw that, right? Um, I am actually gonna keep these two powders since I did such a good job. <laughs> Cause look. That's all I'm keeping. That's really good. At the end, if I have too many things, I'll get rid of more. Now let's move on to the next drawer, which is again, packed full of bronzers and blushes and highlighters. We're gonna get rid of a ton today. Woo, okay, this one's gonna be fun. I have this Pixie by Petra little highlighter palette. I've never used it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I have my Persona highlighter and my Pixie highlighter. I think I'm gonna keep both of these because they are my favorite. Persona is very kind of like intense in your face where Pixie is a little bit more like in the middle. Um, but I love these two, so I'm keeping those. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my Physician's Formula highlighter. And then I just have my L'Oreal True Me and my CoverGirl little like doobie drops. This one's almost out and I love it, so I'm just gonna finish it up and then I'll get rid of that container. I do use my L'Oreal Lumi, so I'm keeping that. Okay. Honestly keeping, oh my gosh, I found this Cover FX um, Illuminating Setting Powder. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Oh my gosh, I also found this Halo, Elf Halo Glow Powder. Apparently I did not organize this as well as I thought I did, because then look, I have a NYX HD powder. I'm gonna get rid of both of these two. <laughs> have my e.l.f. putty blushes. Um, again, never use them. I have quite a few of them actually four of them. I'm going to get rid of all of those. I have this e.l.f. Um, Always Rosy. I do like this, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I have these AOA Perfect Blushes. Going to get rid of those. I have some Tarte Blushes. Getting rid of both of my Tarte Blushes. Um, I have a Note Blush, a Wet n Wild Blush, a Blush Mallow from J.Cat. Oh my gosh, so many products that I do love. Cargo blush, but I just won't use because again, I'm trying to simplify. So let's get rid of those. I have my Milani. This one I've loved for a long time. The it was actually like my all time favorite for many, many years. Now, for some reason, I feel like it doesn't quite match my skin tone. So I'm going to get rid of that one. 
Um, I have my I have my Black Radiance one that I love, another Milani that I love, and another Elf that I love. They're going. I just I can't keep holding on to products that I don't use. It's such a waste. Uh, my Elf blush palette also loved, but getting rid of it. Um, I have my Huda Beauty. This one is so dirty because it is my most used. This is embarrassing to even show. But I use this one so often, so absolutely keeping this. This is a bronzer, by the way. My Huda Beauty bronzer I'm keeping. I have my Take Home the Bronze from um, The Bomb. It looks like that. It's kind of falling apart, but I'm going to get rid of that one. I did love that for a long time, too, but now I feel like it's too light for me. Did I get tanner? Maybe. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I have this e.l.f little like face duo that comes with a blush and a bronzer. These are really, really good, but also just gonna get rid of that. Um, I have another blush Malo that I'm gonna get rid of. I have a little NARS, um, little like rosy pink blush, gonna get rid of that. I have a Fenty cream blush that's in like a red tone. I'm gonna keep that. I love Fenty Beauty products. And I also actually have a Fenty cream bronzer that looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one because I'll be honest with that one. I forgot I had it and I kind of want to try it again and see if I like it. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoarding that one. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> but I also have these Kaleidos Charisma palettes. They look like this. Very cute. Um, oh, I kind of want to keep one, but like, will I use it? What? Let's see. Let me look at the medium one. I might keep that one. It's more like medium toned. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Get rid of the other one. I have this little blush bronzer palette that I'm going to get rid of. I have my Anastasia blush trio that I do love. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm doing really good, guys. I'm going to do this All May Healthy, Healthy Hue blush. This one I've been using a lot lately because it's just such a natural color. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, and then my Bare Minerals, uh, what's it called? Uh, bounce and blur this is like their kind of cream to powder one love this blush absolutely keeping that I think I'm liking more like natural blushes lately that aren't so intense um, I have a NYX blush that I'm gonna get rid of and then here's where it gets tricky for me okay I have my cream blushes love 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 cream blushes okay I have my flower beauty one which I think I'm gonna get rid of because it is a more neutral color so it reminds me of that ben or, uh, bare minerals one that I kept I have this one from M Cosmetics. I don't, didn't save any like orangey blushes, so I think I am going to save this one. I mean, I only have three blushes that I'm saving so far. This one from Rare Beauty, I haven't tried yet, so I really want to try it. And then this one from Milk, I also haven't tried. So these two I will keep just to try them. If I don't like them and figure that I'm going to use them, then I'll get rid of them. Um, now for bronzer, I also have my Anastasia bronzer and my Hula bronzer. Now my Hula bronzer is almost out. So you can see this thing has been loved throughout the years. I feel like, how many did I keep? I kept two other bronzers. So I feel like I can keep these. I'm gonna go ahead and keep those. Um, but then I have my Wet n Wild highlighting powder. This is the only one I have left. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. So, I mean, I kept two highlighters, if you don't include my dewy drops. I kept four blushes, five blushes. Um, and like four bronzers and a contour palette. I don't feel like that's too, too bad. Although I look at this and I still feel like maybe it's too many products. We'll see. Again, if I have to get rid of more, I will. But I have a way bigger pile of things that I'm getting rid of than things that I'm not. Woo! I'm very proud of myself. I feel like I did really good. I've got this giant pile next to me. And then everything that I'm keeping can fit in one drawer. So that means that I can put it just on top of my vanity. And that's enough makeup to like actually use it and not feel like I'm wasting a bunch of product and not feel like I have a ton of clutter. I'm literally dropping stuff next to me. But now I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen of what you could get for the giveaway if you decide to enter. Just again, leave me a comment in the comments down below saying absolutely anything you want. If you wanna be entered for that, this is what I'm giving away and I'm really excited about it. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa for their huge sale that they're having right now. They are an awesome jewelry company and I absolutely love them. Definitely recommend the Malachite ring or any of their stunning layering necklaces that I am obsessed with. So check them out in the description box below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.